Hi. <clears throat> so, as you may have noticed, I look like Caroline. Caroline? Madeline. I look like Caroline. Caroline? Madeline. Although to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, but inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, bim 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 but that has never stopped her from being pretty neat. Dum dee dum dee dum, dum dee dum dee dum. week sometime I can't remember the exact date but um <clears throat> I went to work as normal I was all good um I had a slight headache but I was all good I had no other symptoms of um coronavirus so like a cough a sneeze um with a high temperature nothing like that um I was all fine I was all good um I had new concerns um, going to work besides that little minor headache but I had Panadol before I went to work and I thought it would subside. Um, anyway, I did my work as usual, so um, like what I normally do, so paperwork, pad around, um, everything like that. Um, came about one o'clock in the morning and the headache intensed. Um, you didn't technically leave, well that's what I felt anyway, um, and then, so it intensed, and I'm like, okay, I'll be alright, I'll be okay, um, I need to just breathe and keep my fluids up like I normally would, like my RN pretty much told me to, and then, about 2.30, it was my break time, I take 40 minutes so I took my 40 minutes break and I was sitting down and all of a sudden I just felt really odd and I was like oh, okay like I'm hungry might eat that helped a bit and I kept drinking my water and everything like that on my break and then I went back upstairs went to my area and then um, all of a sudden it hit me and like I was spaced out a bit my RN's like are you okay and I said no not really like my headache's gotten worse since I got here she's like oh, okay um have you had Panadol and I said yeah I had Panadol before I came um it's a bit too early for me to have another Panadol um I have to wait till three for another Panadol because I had it just before I came on shift and she's like, oh, okay, no worries, just let me know if you run out of Panadol, I can always give you some Panadol. I said, oh, that's really nice, thank you. Anyway, me being self-conscious, took my temperature, um, and it was 37.5. And I'm thinking, like, that's, a, like, a start of a fever. Like, that's pretty high. And normally, if I was to do it, I'd be in the 36 range, which is pretty good. That's afibrol. Um... But I had a febrile reading, which was 37.5, and I was a bit worried. Um, I went to my RN, look, my temperature's gone up. It's gone up to 37.5. What do you want me to do? And she said, okay, because um, she was a new RN, she really didn't know exactly what to do. Um, she said, okay, we'll give the other RN a call, see what she says. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> so I called my other RN and I said, hey, um, it's Amber here, just letting you know my temperature has gone up from whatever it was, so I think it was 36.8 to 37.5, and 
to 37.5, um, what would you like me to do? Um, and she told me to call 13 Health, which is, um, if people don't know, that's a health hotline where people can go if um, they're very confused about like something going on with the health system or um, can ask any questions. Anyway, um, I called them, took me about 10 minutes to get home of someone, which is pretty reasonable. Um, and she's like, oh, what can I do for you? And I told her, I said, look, my temperature's gone up from 36.8 to 37.5. Um, one of my aunts have told me to give you a call and what would you like me to do? Like, um, I know it's borderline um, fever, it's a febrile reading. Um, what do I need to do? Um, to slow it down, like I've had my, I've had water, I've had Panadol, um, I'm just about due for another Panadol, and she said, um, no, I, I would rather you go home. Um, you have to be tested um, now because you have a high fever. Do you have anything other symptoms? And I said, look, I've had this strong headache for. A little while but as I said I had Panadol I thought it would have subsided but it didn't um and she's like do you have any stronger medication on you and I mean and she said like Nurofen or anything that's better than Panadol because Panadol really doesn't work and I said no um and I'm at an aged care facility they can't use the residence staff and she's like okay um go home like you have to get tested ASAP um, you'll have to be tested in the morning, <clears throat> anyway, so I went downstairs, went to my other RN, <clears throat> and I went to her, look, 13 Health has told me and advised me to go home, um, so I better off going home, um, and she's like, are you, like, I would suggest you go home and home like I was going to suggest that but I wanted to see what 13 Help had to say first and I said okay um so I went and clocked out and um I went home anyway the fever clinic didn't open until about 9 9.30 so I got home about 4.30 in the morning my dad's like what are you doing home like this is not you because I'm not one to go home and I said I've been sent home with a high temperature of 37.5 um I need to be tested for coronavirus and he's like oh okay like we didn't expect it and me being nervous like I'm on the front line so it's pretty hard um anyway woke up the next morning about 8.30 um and then the paper clinic's about 20, 25 minutes away from me. So, um, I woke up, got there, um, obviously had a shower in the morning, and got there, and, um, I had to wait for, like, 20 minutes, um, because there was quite a few number of people before me, and, um, so, I had my test, um, what they do is they get at the back of your throat, um, that made me almost gag. Um, they take your blood, so what they first do is they take your blood pressure. Um, I don't remember what my blood pressure rating was, but apparently it was really high. And they said, like, are you normally this high? And I said, look, I don't know my resting or my normal blood pressure. Um, but I am a nurse, so it wasn't overly high, but they said it was, it was a bit high. Um, and then... They said okay, and then they took my temperature. It was 37, so I was okay. Um, I was, um, I was a febrile, and then um, and then they also took my pulse rate, which, if no one knows, is here, and um, or you can do it on the neck, but they did on my wrist. Um, my apparently my pulse rate was 101. Um, which is pretty high, um, apparently, and then, 
so I had to wait 20 minutes before I got tested. As I said, there was like 10, more, 10 people plus in that room with the 1.5 meter distancing. Um, after the time, my headache intensed like really, really badly, and I felt like I was getting hotter by the second. And I said to someone, Look, I need to be like tested soon because I feel really hot. And they're like, Oh, okay. Um, anyway, I got called up like two seconds later, and he's like, Been in contact with anyone? No. I'm a healthcare worker though, and he's like, okay, so you're fat line, you need to be tested. I'm like, yeah, I was sent home with the temperature, and he's like, what was your temperature? And I was like, borderline fever, and he's like, okay. Anyway, goes down your throat, to the back of your throat, that almost made me gag, and then you have to hold your breath for it, which is stupid. Um, so you have to hold your breath, and then they do it, and then they put it up both nostrils, and it's like, they're going to the point where you feel like you're gonna cry and it's like oh my god anyway i asked him can i have my temperature taken again or my blood pressure taken again because i feel really hot and i mean like i felt like i was sweating hot and he said oh no 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 that's i can't do that and i said but I need to I need to see what this is because if it's high I don't want to trust myself driving yet. I said, Oh okay. Anyway, um they took it again, my blood pressure was a bit higher and my temp was a bit higher too, but it wasn't in the febrile range. <sighs> okay, no worries. Anyway went into my car, sent my um workplace uh email of what the doctors have said anyway got home went into my room and pretty much self-isolated myself from everyone because i've got two people that are asthmatic in my family and i don't want to risk giving it to them anyway i was in here for like two three days and then i got a text message to say i was negative so thank god but I mean, like it was so scary. Um, but my my one thing to everyone that's watching this now is stay home. Like I'm a healthcare worker. I'm on the right, on the front line. Stay home. It's the best thing that you guys can do. Like uh, go to the shops if you have to, but buy essential things. Like you don't have to panic buy. Um, go to the doctors if you have to like my local doctors is actually giving us calls and saying okay you can come in now um but like don't go out for unessential shit um but anyway because everything's gonna be all right I, I, I. be all right I, I, I. through the sorrow the fights don't you worry cause everything's gonna be alright be alright all alone in my room waiting for your phone call to come soon for you oh I will walk a thousand miles be in your arms holding my heart oh i oh i i love you and everything's gonna be all right i, I, I be all right I, I, I through the long nights in the bright lights don't you worry Everything's gonna be alright. That's my story. I'm gonna add a few photos here and there of what my little self quarantine was like. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and comment down below. And I know it's a weird video, but someone requested it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, it's odd, but anyway, I'll see you.
see you guys in our next video.